I just had to ride the bus. Anybody been on Greyhound? Dude, another condescending laugh. What the hell? That was over here. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It's a horrible way to travel. Their slogan is, leave the driving to us. I was like, fuck you, Greyhound. Let me drive the bus. We're skipping some towns. I had to ride Greyhound out of a shit town called Tonopah, Nevada. This town is so shitty, they don't even have a Denny's. That's a shithole. I get stuck there because my ex-wife, who was my wife at the time, yeah, she left me. She said I was smothering her. At least I could make out from under the pillow because the bitch would squirm, right? So, pick and choose, motherfuckers. Pick and choose. She rolled our car in Tonopah. Because I guess it's really hard to drive on straight dry stretches in the middle of August or some shit. I don't know what happened there. I get stuck there. There's no rental car. There's no airport. There ain't shit. There's a bus depot. Three o'clock in the morning. It's not even a good bus depot either. You know what I mean? Like, bus number 74 leaving for... <laughs> Fuck yourself right in your butthole, faggot. That's rude. It wasn't even as good as that. It's like a restaurant you sit in called Marie's. Three o'clock in the morning. All these waitress sores chicks walking around in there. They've obviously worked a double shift because there's like onion soup in their hair and the new special is bean soup. You're like, it's not good on the menu. Get on the bus. What's the main goal when you're riding the bus, right? Getting two seats. You should be on there bare minimum 48 hours. You need to get a good night's sleep because you got this adjustment. Then you push a button, you're like, fuck, it was reclined, son of a bitch. And then stinky bastards want to sit next to you. What is that? I even tried that thing where you sit on the outside seat, act like you're sleeping when you pull in to pick up more stinky bastards. Dudes were climbing over me and teabagging me and shit. We're not talking peppermint tea either. You know what I mean? Like, boink, and then over really quick. No, we're talking like Earl Grey Dark. We're going to let that brew a little bit. I'm like, <laughs> and I noticed when I mentioned teabagging, most of the only guys were laughing. Did you see that? Because girls don't know what that is because it usually happens when they're sleeping. <laughs> Actually, you're laughing pretty hard. You must have woke up during a dream about a fuzzy peach or something, huh? <laughs> I smell a forest. <laughs> I like who said peppermint tea. That was an awesome callback, but I said, fuck it, I'm going further back. I went clear back to the beginning of the goddamn show, but nice call, nice call. <laughs>